Well, if you are needing a smile or encouragement, you've come to the right place. Today's story is one that's sure to inspire. We're talking all things joy with Caridia Shelby. Caridia, I am so glad to have you here with me. Grace, I'm <laughs> so happy to be here, but you already know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are like known for your joy, whether it's walking around CU Church or just walking around our community, you always have a bright smile across your face. But before we dive into like mm -hmm. your secret formula of how you have so much joy all the mm -hmm. time, I just want people to get to know your story a little bit, who you are, how you got to where you are now. Um, so just tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, well, I feel like my story started when I became a mother, but that was at 19. So although it's still early to become a mother, um, I did feel like it, it was a little late to f start life mm. um, and start figuring out my story, but that's where it started. Um, prior to that, I played basketball at Urbana High School. I won an uh, MVP award, best oh, rebounder, <laughs> no big deal, um, but that was all in high school. Um, I did win best smile award in high school. Um, I won an optimistic award in eighth grade. Um, so all of those are memories, but when it comes to my story, um, I feel like it started when I found out I was pregnant yeah. with my son, um, who is now eight, Kai, and he, uh, I lost, I thought I knew who I was, and then I realized, like, I had no idea who I was. Mm -hmm. And so becoming a mom pushed me to start searching for my purpose and just start searching for my identity. Um, and that's not even to say that it came in that moment. Uh, it actually came through darkness, right? Mm -hmm. Because when I found out I was pregnant, I'm like, whoa, this cannot happen. My life is over. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, it was, uh, it's, um, it was so hard then and I still remember the emotions, but today is such a blessing that when those two things intersect, it's like, okay, how do I tell this story? Um, but I considered um, an abortion when I first found out that I was pregnant, mm -hmm. um, just because I was young. I was living in West Lafayette, Indiana. Um, my um, the, my boyfriend at the time he played Division One basketball, so I'm like. I cannot raise a kid. Mm. Um, however, in the process of um, just trying to like get an abortion, I uh, had to figure out how long, how far along I was, and I went to a clinic um, that someone referred to me, and turns out it was a Christian organization. Mm. So they like gave me a Bible and um, just prayed with me. Everything was free. They did ultrasounds. Wow. Yes, and um, a woman there, I remember her just fight for me to, to um, not go through with um, my original decision. And so that spoke to me um, and my family. When they found out, they started pouring into me. And um, my decision to, to become a mother uh, increased my desire to know truth mm. um, <laughs> to the point where I prayed for truth. Wow. And uh, yes, and I also um, prayed for a home because um, this, this is fast forwarding yeah. a little. So my, my first son at the time is like about nine months and I was living at home with my mom and my sisters and they had kids yeah. and I was just still searching for my identity. So I said a prayer for a home and for truth. Mm. 